Euh, bienvenue pour la deuxième ronde des, euh, de ce tournoi. Euh, nous sommes à St. John's à la 25e édition du, euh, du tournoi de championnat canadien de boccia. We are here on the 25th uh, edition of the Canadian Boccia Championship uh, in St. John's. We have uh, on court number six here, we have uh, two athletes, uh, uh, Gagné from uh, Nova Scotia and Broussière from uh, Quebec. Uh, this is the BC3 category and uh, we are uh, in uh, warm up and they're two, warm two minute warm up right now. The athletes here in this category are uh, ramp, uh, play with uh, ramps, and they are in the BC3 categories. The uh, sport assistant in this uh, activity, the, um, in this uh, group of players, um, as you notice, uh, the sport assistant will be uh, in, um, in the playing area. That means in the box. So they have uh, uh, the uh, player's box and um, both uh, chairs, um, definitely uh, assistance and everything has to say within the confines of this box during the play. Uh, the ramp is allowed to be over the line but uh, not touching the floor so uh, definitely uh, they need to be able to move the ramp within the confines here and the athletes um, will play, they use the ramp, they also use uh, a pointer uh, on their um, on their helmets. There's been a change to these, uh, the rules this year about the pointers. So there's no limit to the length and also no limits to the height of the chair. As you uh, notice, these athletes are uh, confined to a motorized chair. Um, they um, definitely um, need to be able to uh, attain uh, the heights that they need in order for the, the balls to go uh, f uh to reach the back of the court. Again, they also have um, different uh, types of uh, the ball is different uh, density. Donc ici, nous avons des athlètes dans la catégorie BC3. Ils jouent avec une rampe. L'assistant sportif euh, doit être dans la boîte. C'est l'assistant sportif qui place la balle sur la rampe. Euh, et avec les consignes de l'athlète. Um, et donc, euh, ne voit jamais le jeu, euh, sauf à la fin, quand l'arbitre leur donne la permission de se, de se tourner. Uh, c'est uh, seulement l'athlète qui peut voir le jeu. C'est quand même uh, une, une, une grande, uh, uh, un grand travail parce que les, uh, les, uh, les assistants sportifs, uh, parfois on veut voir un petit banc, mais uh, je vois ici que les deux, uh, les deux assistants sportifs ici sont uh, dans une position de uh, um, sans banc. Ils doivent être soit accroupis ou uh, à genoux. Uh, donc, uh, ce n'est pas toujours confortable pour eux, mais uh, c'est certain qu'ils ont uh, uh, une passion pour le jeu uh, et aussi uh, veulent uh, définitivement être, venir en aide avec les, les athlètes afin qu'ils puissent uh, performer leur sport. Donc, nous avons Janika Gagné. Euh, de la Nouvelle-Écosse et nous avons Eric Bussière du Québec. We have here in the BC3 a category Janika Gagné from Nova Scotia against uh, Eric Bussière from Québec. So now the referee has given the okay to throw out the first ball and it will be uh, Janika who will start this match. The, uh, this uh, category of players, they have six minutes on the clock, so they have a little bit extra time because of the complexity of uh, adjusting the ramp um, and uh, choosing the balls and the positioning, uh, as opposed to athletes who have the ability to throw the ball. 
So you'll see here throughout uh, the tournament uh, different types of ramps. Uh, we have a very fancy one from uh, Janika has uh, her little flair for style. Um, uh, and definitely uh, the ramps have become a lot. They have uh, progressed so much. And there it is. The first ball is thrown out. Um, as you notice here, these athletes will um, often use the... Uh, the f the back of the court, uh, so we see like uh, more than a 10 meter uh, distance uh, for their play. Okay, the jack has been thrown out now. It is now time for the uh, the first ball to be released. And again, the athletes uh, indicates the the height of. Um, of where they want the ball to be released from, and the uh, sport assistant uh, is uh, only there in them to help them with that process. Donc la stance sportive va aider à positionner la balle. La première balle est lancée et nous avons une balle qui dépasse le cochonnet. Maintenant, tour d'Éric uh, Bussière du Québec de lancer sa première balle. It is now Eric Bussière's turn to throw out his first ball. So he's giving the instruction to his uh, sport assistant uh, at the height that he wants the uh, the ball. And he uh, gives the indication for the alignment. Donc il enligne la balle, la rampe, il dit à l'assistant sportif de où la placer, à quelle hauteur. L'assistant sportif place la licorne. Et ensuite, c'est à l'arbitre de libérer la balle. Et comme vous voyez, uh, Eric a avancé sa chaise légèrement de façon que ça se produise. So, Eric has uh, now thrown out his uh, first ball. It's uh, short. It's uh, probably using one of his softer balls, and then they won't, go to as, won't roll as far. But again, he tries to position it so that he can uh, create some uh, block uh, to his opponent. So it's always a strategy. It's a very, very high strategy game. Donc la stratégie est très, uh, très importante uh, dans ce dans ce jeu. Um, malgré que Eric a pas une balle qui est um, au cochonnet ou près du cochonnet, il sait très bien de positionner une balle devant son adversaire dans le but de créer un bloc. Donc s'il y a une balle un peu plus molle, uh, il va l'utiliser comme bloc. Donc, euh, son but n'est pas tout de suite de compter un point, mais il bâtit un peu son, son jeu comme euh, un jeu d'échecs. Donc, euh, as you notice here, um, not too worried, Eric, with uh, his first ball being short. It uh, can act as a block. And now he will have uh, the opportunity to take the shot that he actually wanted to do. So, that's... Uh, again, uh, at this level, the, uh, the, the rap players are very good at these strategies. A bit of a, a game of chest. And uh, so Janika is less uh, verbal, or a sport assistant has um, a sign, a little uh, notes to help with communication. Uh, again, uh, they have all kinds of ways to communicate that, and again, the communication has to be precise. It uh, has to be uh, according to the game so that there's not time wasted in um, general conversation. It is always a choice of ball, so the probably the density, which one? Is it a one? Is this ball number two, three, four, five, or six? Um, and, then, uh, and, and then the height uh, of the ramp uh, also has to be determined, or at least the release of the ball. So, Janika now has changed her mind. She wants to realign her ramp a bit. <sighs> Janika's um, sport assistant is uh, Krista Gagné. Uh, and... Uh,
Oh, nice. Nice shot. So, but a bit long. A bit long. We're looking at uh, maybe her... Uh, some of her strategies might be to try to put that jack back. Um, but again, uh, Eric's uh, ball in the front has created uh, somewhat of a block. I am uh, I'm pretty sure that that was the, uh, the goal. And forcing uh, Janika to go around the block. And so creating a bit of um, a V where the jack from her vantage point is not visible. So if you see the distance and it creates a V, so basically like a shadow over the playing area and uh, forcing her to go to the right or to the left. Um, and so that shadow creates, is gets wider as uh, the distance to, uh, to the back of the court is. So we'll see here. And again, trying to go to the left. As you notice, the, the ball on top of the V uh, is Eric's ball and creating that block. Donc, euh, Eric, sa, sa balle a créé un bloc, comme ça fait comme un peu un ombrage de, en V euh, vers la, la, le terrain de jeu euh, où il le cochonnait. Et donc, euh, la tête doit essayer de lancer à droite ou à gauche. Et donc, ça protège euh, la position euh, de, de, de sa balle. Il lui reste deux balles. Donc, à ce point-ci, à deux balles, la tête doit prendre une décision. Euh, Est-ce que j'empêche, euh, étant donné que Eric peut peut-être voir le. le Est-ce que j'empêche mon, mon adversaire de, de compter plus de points? Donc, c'est maintenant peut-être le temps de penser à l'athlète de, de penser à créer un bloc euh, afin de minimiser le montant de points que son adversaire peut compter. Donc, euh, je pense que c'est peut-être la stratégie qu'on va utiliser maintenant. À moins que la dernière balle est tellement dure que... Voilà. Et c'est ça. Donc, elle, elle a placé son bloc sur son côté. Now, uh, Janika has, the, with uh, two balls remaining, had to make a decision. Was she trying to score or trying to maybe create a block uh, for her opponent uh, so that uh, he is not in a position of scoring uh, many, many points. So if she left that open on the right, uh, Eric is a player that is able to definitely um, uh, score a lot of points. So we'll see what he does with this opportunity um, with uh, four balls remaining. So let's see if uh, Janika's block was uh, enough uh, to, uh, to stop uh, Eric from uh, scoring too many points. Donc ici, on va voir si euh, Janika a réussi de créer un bon, euh, un bon écran euh, pour protéger euh, le cochonnet afin que Eric ne puisse pas compter trop de points dans cette première manche. Et voilà. Donc, Eric, maintenant, lui, a, il a vu qu'il y avait un bloc. Donc, son travail était de, de défaire le bloc. Donc, uh, Eric, here, has uh, created some space by uh, um, hitting uh, uh, Janika's block. Um, and hopefully, um, he's hoping that he has now um, space uh, to get to the jack and score some more points. Like I said, these uh, BC3 categories um, and all the athletes uh, use a lot of strategy uh, in this play. It's not just jack driven, let's get to the jack. They think about their, and they build up, they build up the game, they build up their shots, they, they get ready for the next shot. Um, and definitely with the round players, you will see a lot of that. And again, like I said, like 
she wants to go to the back of the court, no problem. I have a soft ball. I put it in front, create a block. Um, there's only a few balls left. You know, my, uh, my opponent has a, sc a score right now. I need to create my own block. Don't so if you see that's uh, you're wondering maybe why can he not make a point right now? I can make a point right now. Well, you know that they're thinking about building the next shot. Donc l'athlète ici utilise beaucoup de stratégies. On va voir si la stratégie à Eric si elle fonctionne. C'est créer un peu d'espace. Et voilà, son lancé, c'est très fort et fantastique. En plus, de, il a réussi à pousser sa balle vers le cochonnet, les deux balles. Donc, euh, euh, très, très beau lancé encore. Et maintenant, il est en très bonne position de compter euh, quelques points. Euh, si vous remarquez, euh, oui, il est proche du cochonnet, mais il y a vraiment juste une balle menaçante ici qui peut empêcher de compter euh, facilement nos deux, deux points. Uh, dans cette situation. So Eric has uh, managed to move uh, two balls forward towards the jack. Yes, it was a very sh hard shot and the goal was to push the ball forward towards the jack. You will see this a lot with the ramp players and there it is. Um, possibly three points here for, uh, for Eric. Donc Eric vient compter un autre point, possiblement, c'est sûr officiellement, euh, non officiel. Euh, de mon angle ici, ce n'est pas euh, toujours euh, évident de voir, mais je vous dis qu'il est en très bonne euh, position. Notre athlète Eric Sid, il a une licorne sur la main, il a une licorne sur le chapeau, <rire> sur son casque. Um, et donc là, il lance une dernière balle. Il doit voir que c'est une balle assez dure. Il la positionne, voilà. Et c'est une balle assez dure. C'est pour ça qu'il a utilisé le bas de sa rampe afin de, de rentrer dans la euh, position de compter. Et maintenant, l'arbitre va confirmer les points. Donc, le referee va demander aux athlètes si ils veulent venir et voir le score, juste pour confirmer tout. Donc, ils avancent vers la playing area. Um, in order to uh, see the measurements. That way the, the athletes are able to uh, uh, confirm that they agree with the, the measurement because the mistakes have been done. Uh, so uh, it is important that the athletes uh, understand what the referee is going to do to determine the point. So he has indicated the two balls that he wants to measure. Um, so usually uh, from the vantage point, he needs to see uh, the furthest. So the furthest ball, or the closest r opponent ball, measure that and see whatever is within that, uh, that measurement. So it looks like um, unofficially I thought I saw four fingers up. Donc c'est pas officiel, mais je définitivement trois, possiblement quatre points. Parce que l'arbitre a mesuré la balle rouge à l'extérieur et on va voir maintenant. Et je ne je peux pas voir. Il va indiquer au... C'est ça. Officiellement, quatre points ici. Eric a réussi de compter quatre points dans cette première manche. Très bonne première manche euh, de la part des deux athlètes. Eric here has scored four points in the first end. Uh, we are here at the uh, Canadian, uh, the 25th edition of the Canadian Boccia Championship in St. John's. Nous sommes ici au championnat canadien de Boccia de la 25e édition à St. John's de Terre-Neuve. Uh, et nous sommes à la deuxième manche du, uh, de la partie en catégorie BC3 uh, qui rencontre Jenica Gagné contre Eric Bissière. So we have uh, Jenica Gagné and Eric Bissière. We are starting the second end of uh, this uh, game. And after one end, the score is four for Eric Bussière and uh, uh, is uh, in a very good position. So from Quebec, Eric Bussière takes the lead in this game. The athletes are getting ready for the second end. Uh, they have uh, five, four, four seconds before the jack is given to uh, Eric for the second end. Oh, I stand corrected. I thought I saw four fingers up, but uh, the score is three. That fourth point was 
debatable, but uh, I, um, I stand corrected. So the score now is three and not four. Still a good position for Eric there at uh, with scoring three points in the first end. Et voilà, Eric a décidé de jouer très, très proche. Il doit euh, euh, une, euh, une des raisons qu'on jouerait très, très proche comme ça, c'est euh, les athlètes dans la salle d'appel euh, vérifient les balles de leur euh, adversaire. Donc, euh, si les balles ont tendance à être euh, très dures, l'arbitre, euh, l'athlète sera en avantage de jouer très proche euh, de la ligne de vie. Um, et aussi, dépendamment de la rampe, uh, si la rampe n'a pas une habileté de, de très, très bas, uh, donc l'athlète, uh, son adversaire uh, va avoir beaucoup de difficultés à jouer aussi près. So, Eric has decided to play very, very close to the V-line uh, and has pos positioned himself in front of the jack. Very good shot. And some of the strategies with that would be either the opponent has their uh, their are balls are a little bit on the hard harder side, uh, maybe the ramp has um, not the adjustment to the very very uh, bottom of the ramp is difficult, and so um, having uh, accuracy at that short distance might be a challenge. So they try to play towards the some of the weaknesses or disadvantages of their opponent in order to create advantage for themselves. So definitely Eric is very, very good at, uh, at uh, determining that. So we'll see how Janika deals with this situation. She's getting ready, adjusting everything. The sport assistant is assisting her and getting her shot ready. Again, she took off all her extension on her ramp. And now uh, also adjusting the uh, pointer uh, in order to reach. Again, it's been an advantage for the athletes to have uh, no limits on the length of the pointer. And there it is. She had a very, very good shot here. We are uh, we're in, in, in this game now. Donc, euh, l'athlète a... Oh, on doit attendre. L'athlète, on s'assure... OK, le chronomètre. On a un petit problème au niveau du chronomètre. So, giving some uh, instructions there clarifications at the score table the time the time is is a very very important aspect of the game and now they indicate the uh, for the athlete to prepare for her shot also another thing the athlete are not allowed to prepare for the shot prior to the indication to the start uh, they are not allowed to, they can stay in the position they've been in the past, but they cannot adjust anything uh, when they're not playing. 
So while their opponent is playing, they are not allowed to adjust anything. So until the referee indicates the possibility of starting, um, they have to have the clear indication from the referee that it's their turn to play, and then they can start all their adjustments. Donc l'athlète n'a pas le droit de faire aucun ajustement dans sa licorne, sa rampe, quoi que ce soit, euh, quand, tant et aussi longtemps que l'arbitre n'a pas donné l'indication de, de jouer. Et voilà, et on prend le lancer, on pousse la balle. Oh, la licorne a besoin d'être ajustée. Et voilà. Oui, mais Janika, elle se défend très bien euh, contre la stratégie aérique en ce moment. Euh, elle a réussi quand même à, à rester très, très, très proche euh, du, euh, du cochonnet. Et aussi, euh, l'athlète euh, peut essayer différentes positions sur le terrain à ce moment ici avec une avance de trois points. Mais rien n'est acquis dans ce jeu, on le sait. So Jenica is defending herself really well against this position, this situation, and she's creating a lot of traffic there. Uh, we'll see uh, how uh, how much traffic she can create in order to minimize the score here from uh, Eric's defense uh, mechanism. He is a a great defender of uh, and a great player of this game. So we'll see how he does. So Jenica now is preparing for her fourth shot. Okay, so we added the extension, backed up to the back of the box of the uh, playing area, l'air de jeu. On utilise l'air de jeu pour uh, reculer uh, au maximum afin de pouvoir placer uh, une extension sur la rampe. Uh, on va voir, changer d'idée. Donc encore, si Janika trouve que sa balle est est plus dure, qu'elle va rouler plus, elle doit reculer, elle doit ajuster euh, sa position de sa chaise, de sa rampe en fonction. Donc, elle doit s'ajuster dans son air de jeu pour euh, pouvoir euh, avoir le meilleur lancé que possible. Donc, Jenica has to adjust according to the, uh, the, the ball that she's using to play. Uh, at this point, uh, probably faced with a ball that's harder than the other ones and will roll really, really far. So her shot has, she has to back up in the, uh, her uh, playing area and also to uh, adjust the proper height of the ramp. So let's see how she does here. Elle a manqué de temps pour lancer ses, euh, sa dernière balle euh, et donc euh, perd le, les trois balles qui lui, re, qui lui restaient, excusez-moi, donc euh, maintenant autour d'Eric. So, Janika, time has, uh, ex she has lost all the time on the clock. No more time for her to throw out her uh, three balls. So, she has, uh, the referee will take away the balls from her and now uh, Eric has... Uh, the full uh, the full playing time.
Okay, so uh, Eric will use the, um, his hand to push, hand extension to push the ball. And there it is, the release. And he gets in there. Eric has been playing in Bacha for seven years now. His, uh, he comes from Montreal. He, his club is Siva. He's attended uh, five uh, Canadian championships. His goal here today is to be on the podium. He's hoping for the gold medal, aren't we all? Okay, Alexis se prépare pour se lancer. Ça fait, uh, il vient de Montréal. Ça fait sept ans qu'il joue uh, le Boccia. Il commence à l'âge de 25 ans. Son club à Montréal, c'est le Siva. Autre lancé. Donc, Eric si lance toutes ses balles parce que Jenica n'a plus de balles à lancer. Il reste 30 secondes, euh, moins que 30 secondes pour lancer. Il y a deux balles qui restent à Eric. Et encore, il utilise la licorne pour lancer sa dernière balle, pour se positionner, faire des points. Encore une autre balle qui rentre très, très proche du cochonnet. Euh, ici, Eric euh, semble avoir définitivement euh, trois, possiblement quatre points. On va voir. Donc, l'arbitre va mesurer. He will demand those athletes to approach. The uh, referee now will ask the athletes to approach the playing area in order to uh, see what the final score is. And hopefully, I um, will ask the referee uh, will take pay attention to how many fingers he puts up on his paddle. That's how he indicates the score to the athletes. So he's going to measure the closest red ball. So.
on attend pour le résultat final. We're waiting for the final results. I saw four fingers up on the paddle. We'll uh, wait for it to be official from the score table. On va attendre le, le résultat final. J'attends encore la confirmation parce que tantôt je me suis trompé. Mais. Euh, Je vous confirme ça dans quelques secondes, le pointage. J'ai vu 4, probablement 4. Euh, donc, on va attendre le résultat euh, sur le chronomètre. Sur le tableau de pointage. We'll wait for the official score. But uh, I unofficial again, uh, four points. So, we're out uh, up to seven for Eric uh, Bussière from Québec. Against Janika. Gagné from Nova Scotia. So, Jenica is uh, getting ready for the jack ball release. And we'll see where she wants to place it if uh, we're looking at the, the third extension or possibly uh, the back of the court might be where she's aiming at again. Um, try to uh, try this hand in the long ball, so in the back part of the, of the court. Et voilà, c'est fait. On a lancé le cochonnet et la première balle. Maintenant, on va voir qu'est-ce qu'Eric va décider de faire avec euh, cette euh, situation. 
So Jenny has uh, thrown out her uh, jack and her first ball, and uh, we'll see what Eric uh, will do uh, with uh, his uh, strategies in order to counter this uh, positioning of the jack. On se prépare pour encore Eric opte pour le bloc pour débuter. Donc Eric has opted for uh, placing a ball in order to uh, block uh, his opponent. He used a closer block this time, so further expanding the V. Uh, if you can imagine like uh, the ball uh, being your top of your V and the playing area, the bottom of the V, so you'd have uh, an area where uh, the, um, uh, the jack is uh, and, uh, and, and its, its surrounding is well protected. The athletes practice these type of scenario at every practice. There's always a scenario that they're practicing. They're setting up to play again, uh, like a bit of a game of chess. So he gets his second uh, second ball. So he has an, uh, his, his second, second ball will be the one he will attempt to score with. Again, his pointer is has to be strong enough to be able to push the ball. Without disturbing, and there it is. So that was the strategy. So with his, again, his first ball, his opponent places her first ball, or and now he put up a, a block, and then goes for the the point afterwards. Now we'll see what Jenica does if she if this block is effective or not. Donc on va voir si uh, si le bloc aérien uh, travaille uh, est bien positionné uh, afin de vraiment uh, nuire à son adversaire et son accès uh, au cochonnet. Et voilà. Donc, il euh, y avait oh, juste une option pour Jenica, c'était de faire un peu, euh, de frapper le bloc à, à Eric dans, dans le but de, de, de vraiment euh, se créer un espace. Donc, Jenica now has uh, her strategy. Her first shot was to open up the block. And she was successful of creating an opening for herself. And now the block is no longer as effective as it was. Uh, and uh, now she will use her third ball in order to uh, get close to the jack. Voilà. Oh, très bonne balle. Très bonne balle. Mais selon l'arbitre, tout de suite, il voit que ce n'est pas assez proche encore, mais elle est en très bonne position. Elle va essayer maintenant d'être encore plus proche. À ce point-ci, euh, dans la compétition, euh, dans la ronde des individuels, les points pour, les points contre peuvent déterminer euh, le positionnement euh, euh, pour euh, les, les semi-finales. Et donc, euh, c'est important 
Euh, les pointages deviennent importants. La victoire est plus importante, mais le pointage peut aussi jouer dans euh, la différence entre euh, passer à la prochaine ronde dans les, euh, euh, pour les quarts de finale. So, Jenny Canal is uh, in, in a good position. She sees the jack. She's able to get in there. Um, hopefully, um, for her, that she can uh, uh, score a point here. Again, for the points, um, uh, in this preliminary round, in order to go to the quarterfinals, often the points for and against could come into play. Uh, and in order to determine if uh, an athlete uh, makes uh, the the uh, the final round or the quarterfinals, semi, you know, semifinals. So the point, the score is important. Um, Obvious, the, the win is more important, but the points can um, make a difference uh, for the athlete uh, at, uh, to calculate uh, the positioning in this tournament. She has 29 seconds, and there's one, two, three balls out. So this would be ball number four. Uh, again, I think that uh, she is a uh, very good shot, very good shot. So she was able to score there. And it's now Eric's turn, and she has 17 seconds left to, to, to for the remainder of her, her ball. So at this point, um, Eric is ready for his shot. Maintenant, c'est Eric a contré le, le lancer. Uh, on va voir si la balle à Janika, qui est en avant, là, elle va le nuire, parce qu'elle a créé uh, un bloc uh, pour lui. Donc, on va voir l'efficacité de ce bloc. Eric a lancé sa balle et il a compté un point ici. Donc, le bloc a, elle a maintenant que 7 secondes à faire son lancer. Et ça va être très difficile. L'arbitre se prépare, euh, advenant que maintenant, elle, le temps s'est écoulé, elle doit libérer, concéder la dernière balle. Donc, l'athlète, c'est difficile avec tous ces ajustements-là, avec euh, six minutes euh, pour jouer toutes euh, les six balles. C'est certain que ça prend beaucoup d'expérience. Il faut connaître son équipement très bien. Donc, with the athlete who has a lot of uh, adjustments to make, the ramp, six minutes is very quickly passed, especially with all the different components of their placement with the, the, uh, the pointers, the, the ramp, uh, the choosing the ball. It is uh, very challenging to be able to, and then to deliver an accurate shot. So when there is the challenges with the clock, um, definitely one, especially when uh, there's a lot of adjustment that need to be made. Uh, as you can see now, uh, adjustment of uh, the height of the, the ramp, uh, the, there seems to be a component there that holds the ball at a certain height. Uh, for the athletes to be able to uh, release it. And unless they know their equipment really, really well, it's uh, definitely uh, a challenge. See that pointer, if it's too soft, it won't be able to move it forward. Uh, if he missed the mark, and again, he has to be very careful because he cannot show, the release cannot come from the sport assistant. So Eric is successful. Again, uh, very accurate. He knows his equipment very well. Donc Eric a réussi de compter un autre point. Um, avec très peu de temps, il y a quand même euh, une minute euh, 13 qui lui reste pour lancer trois autres, euh, il y a deux balles de reste. Il va confirmer avec l'arbitre. Il demande à l'arbitre de confirmer le pointage à ce moment ici. Euh, et l'arbitre va prendre. Puis quand on demande de confirmer les points, maintenant, Eric, l'arbitre, de façon rapide, lui indique qu'il y a déjà trois points. Et donc, Eric, maintenant, euh, va pratiquer euh, va avec 42 secondes. 
quand l'arbitre est demandé de faire le pointage, c'est dans son temps. Le temps n'arrête pas. Donc, if the athlete asks the referee for a measurement or an estimate of the score, it is on their time. So obviously they have to ask if there's enough, only if there's enough time. And if they're really uh, uh, not sure of, uh, of the point. So there's something to consider when they decide to ask. And so... We have here an extension on the pointers. There's 10 seconds left. And again, he has to be the one to release the ball. And there it is. Um. So they're asking now to go out and see. He likes to see. Eric is... Uh, He's okay. I think that uh, Janika needs to go out and see to confirm. Donc Janika ici uh, veut voir uh, veut voir le les balles, veut voir le le résultat du de son de sa manche pour confirmer les. Je pense bien que l'arbitre a indiqué quatre points encore uh, ici pour Eric. Donc l'arbitre replace l'athlète et il va indiquer. Quatre, quatre points ici pour Eric. Avec une autre manche que, qui reste. Donc les assistants sportifs maintenant peuvent se retourner. Comme je vous ai dit au début, les assistants sportifs n'ont pas euh, le droit de regarder le jeu en aucun temps durant les manches. Donc, uh, the sport assistants now collect the balls and like I said earlier, they're not allowed to look at the playing area at all during uh, the ends. So now the athletes will get ready for their last end. You're joining us uh, right now in the 25th edition of the Canadian Boccia Championship here in St. John's. Nous sommes à la 25e édition du championnat canadien de Boccia ici à St. John's en Terre-Neuve, Newfoundland. Uh, nous sommes en train de um, regarder une partie qui se joue entre uh, Janika uh, de et des Janika Gagné, excusez-moi, de la Nouvelle-Écosse et d'Éric Bussière du Québec. So Janika from uh, Newfoundland, uh, Nova Scotia and Éric Bussière from Québec. They're in the last end and the score is 11-0 uh, uh, for Éric Bussière from Québec. This is the BC3 category. The athletes uh, play with a ramp. Uh, and their sport assistant is the one helping them with the adjustment of the uh, equipment in order to uh, make their shot. So Eric now is getting ready to release the jack ball, which has been done. Then now he needs to readjust between shots. They need to show that they've they can't, they've readjusted, they don't have to uh, uh, move the ramp, uh, but they definitely need to do some uh, readjustment there in order to shoot uh, the first ball. Donc, uh, Eric se prépare pour son deuxième, son premier lancé sur le cochonnet.
faut faire attention. Il faut faire attention au chronomètre. Excusez-moi. Il faut faire attention au chronomètre. Euh, on devait, je pense que, c'est ça. Il avait commencé le chronomètre sur le côté de Jenica et euh, c'est seulement le chronomètre à Eric qui devait s'écouler en ce moment parce que euh, Jenica n'a pas pris de lancer encore, seulement Eric. Et là, l'arbitre vient d'indiquer le début du temps pour euh, Eric. The score uh, had the, the time clock has started for the opponent, uh, for Jenica, and it was supposed to be only running uh, for uh, Eric. And now uh, the appropriate adjustments have been made. It's uh, The time is now running for Eric uh, for his uh, first ball to be released. And there it is. Uh, again, uh, Eric, uh, very, very accurate with his shots today. He has uh, done everything uh, he wants uh, with his, uh, his every shot. He's been successful in executing every shot very accurately today. Donc, Eric ici encore démontre une très grande euh, habileté au niveau de la précision de ses lancers. Uh, encore, ça, beaucoup de pratique, beaucoup de temps uh, passé à, à jouer avec, uh, um, les, avec ses, son équipement, dans le sens que la licorne, uh, la main, je vois qu'il a ajouté quelque chose à son, uh, à son pied et tout. Donc, uh, beaucoup de temps, beaucoup de pratique. Encore, l'athlète qui se pratique... So the athletes play, right today we're on a uh, gym floor, a wooden floor, and sometimes we're the athletes have to adjust to different floors. Uh, and it affects the ramps uh, quite a bit if uh, the floor is uh, a different uh, uh, material. So a rubberized floor, for instance, uh, um, sometimes the, the uh, floor have a different indents in them. Um, Again, the athlete has to uh, adjust to these uh, playing uh, playing areas. They're never the same, uh, depending on uh, the venue. So uh, they need to to know. They often come out and uh, inspect the playing area uh, in order to know if there is uh, um, certain areas of the court to avoid. Um, we've uh, uh, s s often encountered uh, some. Uh, some uh, spots on the floor that could be uh, uneven. And as you know, as you see that the ramp players, their ball is released in a rolling fashion and any uh, obstruction in the floor would uh, de definitely affect um, the accuracy of their shots. So Janika here is ready and uh, to uh, release her first shot to see how well she is trying to create a little bit of disturbance there maybe getting a uh, knocking out uh, that uh, that first ball from Eric so it's not uncommon uh, for the balls to win the hard shot to go out of play uh, that was her second shot I couldn't see the ball but I see now it on the side so the uh, referee takes the ball that is out of play um, uh, beyond the boundaries and put him on the side and to indicate that there's those are no longer in play so now we have uh, her th third attempt And now going with a shorter, shorter distance. I think that the goal was to create a block for Eric. Might not have been long enough to, to do that. 
uh, but she will uh, definitely take uh, another attempt at that. So her first two balls were the attempt to move or get a piece of that, uh, that uh, connection there in order to create some space. They went long and missed the mark. Now she is probably looking at creating a block in front. Donc euh, les deux premiers lancés, c'était dans le but de, de défoncer un peu le jeu, créer un peu d'espace. Euh, mais elle n'est pas réussi. Donc maintenant, la stratégie serait peut-être d'essayer de, de, de créer comme un, un bloc en avant pour euh, encore euh, essayer de, de déranger la trajectoire euh, et les lancer à Eric. Il reste une minute treize sur le chrono. Et voilà. Il reste maintenant une minute. Elle a la, sa dernière balle. Euh, non, il lui reste deux balles. Trente secondes maintenant. Et le lancer est fait. Vingt-deux secondes. Pour Jenica ici. Dix secondes. Et encore. Et la balle est lancée. Donc, elle réussit d'envoyer toutes ses balles. Maintenant, autour à Eric. Il est qu'à juste sa rampe, la hauteur. À ce point, avec euh, une avance de 11 à 0, Eric euh, va essayer euh, probablement là, maintenant de, de une stratégie, donc envoyer dans une partie du terrain euh, ses balles, euh, possiblement dans une autre partie qu'il voudrait utiliser aussi pour euh, démontrer de, euh, un esprit sportif. Euh, il ne va pas euh, continuer à compter autant de points euh, contre son adversaire. Donc, euh, Eric now is... Uh, Just uh, using the, uh, his uh, ramp in a position uh, that uh, to uh, possibly uh, a strategy of his maybe to try some shots that uh, for the future games, uh, corner shots, he haven't had the opportunity to play in that area. Also, uh, at this point, uh, he doesn't need to score uh, uh, many more points. So he is going to use uh, his, uh, his ramp in order to position the ball somewhere may he might be playing against another opponent uh, Uh, in the future. Et 
Et voilà. Si je remarque bien, euh, ils ont installé une, une, une petite tablette pour la balle. Déjà, l'assistant euh, sportif tenait, tenait la balle et devait, d'une façon, euh, la, sans, sans, faire en sorte de ne pas libérer la balle, mais que ça soit poussé par l'athlète. Et euh, maintenant, avec euh, la petite tablette, là, ça l'aide à vraiment éliminer euh, toute possibilité que ce soit l'assistant sportif qui libère la balle. Vous avez remarqué, on ne libère pas la balle toujours de la même position, peu importe si on lance dans la même région. C'est toujours euh, euh, directement relié avec euh, la balle. La balle, euh, comme je vous dis, la différente densité de la balle. Il y a des balles plus dures, plus molles. Et donc, euh, si elle est plus dure, c'est évident qu'on va la laisser, on va, on la, on, on va mettre la trajectoire euh, un peu moins haute. On, commence, on joue très bas sur euh, la rampe. Euh, et quand la balle est, plus, euh, est moins dense et plus molle, on doit monter la rampe un peu plus haut pour lui donner cette, euh, la vitesse d'accélération. Et donc, si on, est, on descend, c'est que la, la balle est possiblement plus, plus, euh, plus molle, donc on doit la pousser. So, if you notice that the, uh, even though the, the distance is the same, uh, Eric has adjusted his... Uh, his release point uh, according to the density of the ball. Uh, so if, uh, if his ball is uh, hard and it will roll fast, he has to release it lower on the ramp. And if the ball is softer, medium, then he has to choose the distance. So uh, he spent hours and hours and hours and knowing how the ball will react at, uh, to uh, attain different distances on the, on the court. Um, so knowing that every ball can travel Uh, a certain distance uh, that is very very important for the athletes with a ramp um, they s spend countless hours and countless shots to make in order to know how well each ball will respond so here and the last uh, uh, end we have Eric scoring one additional point making the final score uh, 12-0 uh, against uh, the uh, athlete from Nova Scotia, Janika Gagné. Uh, again, uh, very, very um, uh, good play, uh, good sportsmanship here, and they both athletes should be proud of their performance. Stay tuned. Stay uh, tuned with us. We have uh, the following round coming uh, here at uh, before lunch break. Uh, we have uh, athletes on uh, court number one. We will have uh, Chiabuni uh, Julian uh, from Quebec. Uh, we have Alex Lemaire uh, in the BC4 uh, category. And on court number two, we'll have uh, Marco Despaltro uh, versus uh, Alison Levine, both from Quebec and from uh, Newfoundland, Kristen Collins on versus uh, Haley Redman. Uh, Bowl from Newfoundland on court number three. On court number four, we'll have Danik Allard versus, uh, from Quebec versus the James Davies from Ontario. And on court number six, we'll have Paul in the BC2 category, Paul Jalbert versus uh, Mike Mercer.